Alrighty guys, I'm Orthodon, bringing you guys Fairy Tales Final Season, episode 289. 289. Um, this is going to be a good one. Uh, but as you can see, my webcam is back to normal. Uh, finally, I got my monitor back and can put the webcam back to where it used to be. Um, I'm still doing some adjustments. It might be a little bit off. Um, I feel like it's still like... I feel like it's closer now, but... My monitor's as far back as it goes when I, like, replace it down, so I don't know. When I Sometimes I lean forward when I'm watching like this, and I feel like I'm really close to the camera when I do that. But if I stay back like this, then I feel fine. But, I don't know. Uh, nitpicking with it. Uh, so if I adjust it during the video, that's why. Uh, but yeah, so let's talk about the previous episode, shall we? Because I don't have anything else to say. Um, but I hope you all are doing well. Actually, I do have one thing to say. Um, the If you guys hear something, it's because my fan is on. It's very warm out today. Um, it'll get very hot in here, even over the course of one episode, if I uh, if I turn it off. So, And also, my computer fan's running hotter because it's hotter. So if you guys hear fans or something or humming, it's uh, probably coming from me. And it's not like you guys or anything or the video or sorry <laughs> if it's like that. Um... But yeah, I'll probably be putting my air conditioner in soon, and then what I'll probably do is before I record, I'll blast the AC, get it nice and cool in here, and then turn it off and record. Um, but anyway, let's talk about the last episode, which was very exciting stuff. That was the episode that they they escaped from the Alvarez area, like the, well I guess that's the name of their... Alvarez is the name of, like, their empire, right? In that that whole big city. Um, and then Alexasia or something. I, I know I said that wrong, but it's something like that is the name of the continent that they that they escaped from, and they made it back to... Uh, oh, shoot. What's their... Ishgal, right? Or... I something like that. Ish... No, Ishval is, like, the full metal alchemist. Ishgar? Something like that. Uh, they made it back to their continent. Sorry. Um, it's been a week or so since I recorded. But yeah. Um, and then when they made it back, Master was finally going to reveal the truth behind the Lumen Histoire. But then Mavis showed up. And uh, we also had, I guess before that, we had the cool fight between uh, Agil, I think his name was. And, uh, the fairy tale members in Loxus showed up, which was really cool. Um, so yeah. Uh, and then Mavis showed up, and she's gonna explain what happened. And I believe this is gonna be a backstory episode. So, uh, I'm super excited to find out what the Lumen Histoire is, if we're gonna find that out this episode. Or, I don't know if this whole episode's gonna be backstory, and next episode's gonna, like, be some backstory too. I have no idea, but I just want to get into it because I want to see what happens. Because I am really looking forward to hearing about what the Lumen Histoire. I had I had my theories that I talked about in one of my other videos. I guess I'll quickly say it. I thought it might have had to do like right before we found out. It was. It, it, I actually talked about it in the episode that uh, we found out it was called Fairy Heart. Uh, it was right before I watched that, I talked about my theory that I came up with, and then I found out about it being called Fairy Heart, and it's like Grand Arcane Magic or something like that, um, and I had the theory that it had something to do with, like, immortality, and I thought that the, the leader of the Alvarez Empire was, like, sick and wanted to somehow get immortality, um, but then we found out who the leader actually was, and it was Zeref, so... That kind of blew a hole in my theory, but I still wonder if it has to do with, like, immortality or something, because Mavis is stuck in the ice and she's always, like, showing up places and stuff, so, I don't know. But then the name, like, Grand Arcane Magic doesn't really, like, say, like, it doesn't really sound like some kind of immortality magic, so I think it's probably something else, but that was my theory. Anyway, uh, let's get into the episode, shall we? Alrighty, so we are gonna start the episode in five. Four, three, two, one, now. Okay. Oh 
Bunny Boy. Hold something that the world should never know about. And it's important why Zerif wants it. Sorry, I turned the volume up a little bit. No. Yeah. So I think this was a little bit of a recap. We saw this last episode, but it was good because it's been like over a week since I watched, so. Oh yeah, that's right, in the primordial magic. Which is something that Lucy's mom talked about, right? I love this intro so much. <laughs> so upbeat. Sort of, like, it's weird, like, that part has an upbeat tone. I guess this is pretty upbeat, too. But there is, like, this slight hint of, like, sadness in it a little bit, but... Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
I wonder how Yuri died. Munchkin master. <laughs> Fairy Tales Munchkin Master just sounded weird. <laughs> oh, yeah, Yuri and his lightning. Just like Loxus. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so it seems like they hired Fairy Tale to f help in this war. Haha. <laughs> I see Ward found a use for his magic in fighting. I remember he at first he was like more support in nature and stuff like that, and he was kind of sad that he couldn't fight, but he's fighting right there. Maybe he fought in Fairy Tale Zero. It's been a while since I saw that. Fairy tactician, oh yeah. She doesn't look too happy. Um. Hmm. Yeah. She doesn't want to fight in wars. She just wants to Explore. Damn. Is she gonna do something bad to stop all the fighting? Okay. Okay, so that's when all the guilds kind of started, like, working together, in a way. But they can't, like, fight each other. Hold up. Hmm. She's so excited. <laughs> she says, that's just, you're the Black Wizard! Interesting. She remembers about the curse, but she can touch him? Or is it just like if things get close and he has that burst pulse that it, that it kills people? Hmm. <laughs> I like how she reminds me of, like, Gone from, uh, uh, Hunter x Hunter. I'll talk more about that in the discussion, why I think that, but... Nice. Are we going to get to see the mom? Probably not. It's probably not that important. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> Is he trying to, like, sense something? Uh, 
Uh oh. Oh shit, that's got chills. Oh, it's kind of like immortality. I kind of said something like that. But I'm wondering if she can like bestow it or take it away from other people. Oh shit. Interesting. Oh shit, that was a shot. So she's immortal and now that's why she's trapped in ice because she doesn't want to like, she doesn't know, or a crystal, whatever that is, not ice, but she doesn't want her curse to kill anybody, but she can't, like, suppress it or whatever. Huh. And she can't die, so... Damn. Oh, shit. So does Zarev just want someone to be immortal with? Is that why he wants her? Oh, Makara was born. Oh, Mavis. Little Makaro. Oh, we got to see the wife! Or the girlfriend. I don't know. Who knows? I'm not gonna judge. Oh, does she come up with the name? <laughs> hmm. Uh. That's that's awesome, but I feel like this is gonna make her like respect life, and then she's gonna start having, like, the death aura come out, right? Maybe. Oh, uh, no, she's gonna die. Well... Damn. So she just saw life being created and life being taken away right in front of her, so how is this gonna affect Mavis? Oh. Uh. Damn. Uh. 
Oh no. Damn. Oh, sorry about that humming. Hold on. Oh yeah. It's my damn coffee maker. <laughs> I left it on. I think. I still hear it. Oh, sorry. I don't know what it is. If you guys can hear it or not. Oh no, the death aura. Oh shit. Damn. So, I have some questions regarding this, but... I'll wait till discussion to talk about it. Damn. <clears throat> Wow, really? Damn. Zara mm, found her again. <clears throat> Oh, I really suck seeing Mavis in that kind of condition. Ah, oh, Jesus. Ugh. Oh, this is so depressing. She's probably not going to see it that way. Jeez. Oh, man. Oh. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, damn. That's not really what he's like now, though, so do they find something? I know they said they also search for the primordial magic, so maybe that somehow helps, in a way. Although he is he is a bit contradictory, even in current time. But it just doesn't seem that like severe. The the contradictions. Oh, 
Oh no. Hmm. This might not be the only backstory episode. I just looked at the time. I don't like the idea of them together. Stupid. Everything dying around them. Oh no! Did it? Damn! Don't no, it's gonna end. I hear the music. God damn it! We still don't know like why she's in the crystal then if she's dead. Fuck! Oh, man. Like, I didn't even talk this episode, really. I'm sorry. Holy crap. I, like... It was just so depressing. And now this outro is depressing, and I'm depressed... Ah. I don't even know. Do 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 <laughs> Alrighty guys, so that is the end of episode two eighty nine. Um damn. Uh, God, that episode. I am, I'm sorry for the reaction. I did not talk much. Um, I'll try to, I usually try to keep in where I talk and important bits of information that will help, like, understand the episode better when I edit. But there's going to be a lot of points where I don't talk, and it's not because I cut out, like, where I talk. It's just because this episode was so, like, enthralling that I just didn't, I didn't have the words. It was just me being like, oh, wow, jeez, and stuff like that through the whole episode. Like, um, I did talk about a few things throughout it, but jeez. Okay, so getting into the discussion now. Um, so my biggest question out of all of this is, she used fairy law, and he said that because she judged, um, because she judged the lives of others, I think it was, something like that, with the wording, that she was given this curse of contradiction, but Makarov used it, and, uh, Loxus tried to use it. And I'm sure that wasn't the first time Makarov used it either, and Makarov doesn't seem to have this. Um, so what's different between Mavis and, uh, like, Makarov? And we also, I'm sure, Precht used it too, um, during his time at Master, like, at least once, like, you can assume that, right? Um... 
Like, I'm going to see if I can find the line real fast where he says it. Uh, she says... You judged who should live and die, then. You made that choice. So, I guess, technically, Makarov didn't kill when he used Fairy Law. He only, like, hurt him? I don't know what he did to, uh... What was that master's name? Ah, uh, shoot. The leader of Phantom Lord? Um... Shoot, I can't remember his name, but... He he didn't die, he just his hair turned like gray, he was very pale, but he was still alive. So because he didn't use fairy law to kill, did that not happen? And then also does that mean Prep didn't as well, uh if Prep ever used it during his time as a master, um Prep must not have used it to kill. And then we also know that when uh Loxus tried to use it it didn't kill. So, that's interesting. Like, you judged who should live and die. But, plenty of people do that when they, like, kill and they don't get, like, this way. So, like, anytime you kill someone, you're you're judging someone to live or die. I'm a little confused by that logic. Um... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie, it's cool that this is the route they're taking with the Lumen Histoire, but at the same time, I wish it was something different. Um, because after all this, it's like, like, there still might be something different about it, right? Because... So I'm going to hold out. Before I really talk about that, I'm going to wait till the next episode to see what happens, I think. Because we don't know why she's in the crystal. She's dead. If, uh... If Zeref just killed her right there, then why is she in that crystal? And also, why is she considered Fairy Heart? What does Fairy Heart do? And... Uh, why does Zeref want her still? Um, so, I'm gonna wait till the next episode before I complain about this being too similar to Zeref. But it almost feels like, hey, we're wrapping up the season, we need to come up with, like, what the Lumen Histoire does. So let's just make her be the same thing as Zeref. Like, and that might not be it. Maybe they planned this from the beginning and that's just how they wanted it, you know? Um... It is like a tragic love story kind of situation, but I do, I feel like I did want a little bit more, um, like more of an exciting reveal. But like I said, I'm going to try to reserve that judgment for the next episode. So Mavis used Fairy Law, she was cursed with this curse of, uh, contradiction which was given supposedly like everyone attributes it to the god of like death there like Ankylosim or however you say his name um and so the that's that's not proven yet though like at least to us as viewers that was what the guy said that was, like, raising Zeref in a way, like his professor kind of thing, when Zeref was growing up. Mentioned that it was, like, uh, a curse from him, uh, that, that god, because he played with, like, life and death. But I don't know if this journey that they go on for the primordial magic, or at least uh, that they talked about going on, because... If she died here, she also said that she went on a quest with Zeref to search for the primordial magic. Like, the source of all magic. So, I don't know. I guess we really need the next episode to, like, clarify a lot of this. Uh, if they do clarify it in the next episode. Um, I'm very confused about a lot of things. Does she somehow come back to life? Or did... 
he take away her her immortality, but she's still alive? Because I guess he did say there that um like the next contradiction was they fell in love, and that caused her to lose her immortality. Did they say die? There? Um... Sometimes tragedies... Uh, let's see. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I always hate looking up in the episode. I wanted to, like, keep talking, but... Uh, shoot took my immortal life as well, but she slumped over like she died, but it just said took my immortal life. So could it be that he took away her immortality? And maybe he wants to try to do the same with her so she was saved in the crystal, but also it still doesn't answer why Mavis saved in the crystal if she is alive in there, could have stopped all the faces during that time when Master was going to reveal it. Um, so, I don't know. Um, I guess we need more information. So, I guess I'm not as mad now that I'm thinking about it, because that means there is a lot more to this. At least I think there is. Um, I keep saying it, but we need the next episode. I need to know. Um, but, but, yeah, so the... The beginning bit, which I didn't talk about, was the the first first bits were pretty cool. It was a lot of like what happened in Fairy Tale Zero, but then we got past that. And we got to see a lot of scenes from the war, um, and we got to see her being like a, a tactician, which is always cool, and people underestimating her because she's just like you know this little kid, but she's super smart and she could figure all this stuff out. Um, and come up with all these strategies and everything, and it's just really neat um, concept and everything. Um, I love strategists. Any kind of strategy show, like, I remember the first time I watched Death Note, I loved it because, like, the whole, like, mental chess game kind of thing going on, and then Code Geass was one I watched right after that. And then there have been some others that I can't remember off the top of my head, but, like, the ones that use, like, mind games and, you know, use, like, I think there was one, it wasn't very popular, and I cannot remember the name, but it was about, like, these big mechs, like, it was a mecha anime, but they were, like, round, and they were more, like, giant tanks, in a way, um, and these, like, two guys who were just very smart, were able to take down these things without even using one. So they'd manage to, like, lay traps that would stop them because they knew, like, the designs and the schematics and how they were built and everything. Sometimes they'd get inside of them and break, like, one part that would make them fall apart and stuff. It was a really cool anime. Um, using, like, their heads to fight these mechas when they're just people on foot, you know? Um... It was pretty cool. I liked it. Um, but any kind of show like that is fantastic to me. So when I see, like, the fairy tactician, I love that kind of stuff. Just, like, you know, outsmarting the enemy and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, did people actually die? Now that I'm thinking about it, I mentioned before that when she used fairy law, did people die? Because she used it to stop the dragon, right? Um, like, Yuri, his mind got put into the dragon, or he turned into the dragon, or something like that, when he touched that, like, cursed orb, or something like that, and she used that to do that, but she would have killed an inanimate object, and Yuri was still alive after that, so, did she kill anybody else with it? I don't know. I'm very confused by that whole, like, fairy law is what gave her this curse, but Makarov, Loxus, and... I presume uh, Precht used it as well, um, just because he was a master for like 40 some odd years or whatever and then just left, so like wouldn't he have used it if this was passed down kind of thing? I don't know. Um, I could be wrong, but I've talked about that enough. I'm very confused by that, uh, why she was picked to be, to have this curse when the others have not. Um, but... Yeah. Hmm. 
I don't really think I have anything else to talk about. I think the discussion will be longer in the next episode because, like, if we do learn more, I don't know what the next episode's about. So, I'm hope we better learn more because we still don't know why she's in the crystal because at this point in time, what we know of her is that she's dead um, in Zara's arms. And why she is powerful enough to have been able to stop the faces and hold off an entire nation and stuff like Well, maybe not hold off an entire nation. We know now that Zeref was keeping them back. Um, it had nothing to do with the Lumen Histoire. He was just waiting for the right time to come take it, which is Mavis, who he loves. So why does he want her now? I don't know. Hmm. We have so much more to know, <laughs> but... So much more to learn. Uh, anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end it there. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm really lo looking forward to the next one. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the, these reactions, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. You can also like the video if you liked it. Um, and you can check out my Patreon if you want full-length reactions instead of the cut-up bits that I do for uh, on Vimeo. You'd be able to have full length instead. Uh, you can check that out. Or if you just want to support me as well. Anything helps. Even like the $1 tier. If you wanted to. Uh, helps. I'll be doing. Eventually. If I ever get enough patrons to do polls. Um, I will be doing polls to pick the next shows. And everything. So if you guys are interested in that. Once I once I get established and get going. For now I do take recommendations. Um. If you want to check out my anime list, also the link to the Patreon is in the description. Uh, so there's a link to my anime list, you can check that out. Um, if you have any animes you want to recommend, I, I've been making a list. I'm actually going to update my list, um, maybe within the next week. Um, with I'm going to re be replacing, I don't know if I have anything on my plan to watch right now, but I'm going to be changing up my plan to watch to be shows that people recommend and shows that I kind of want to watch on the channel. And that's what my plan to watch section of my anime list will be. And as people recommend stuff, like I just got a new recommendation um, a few days ago, I'll be adding it to that list. And then I'll either pick one that I feel like fits the appropriate time um, that like I feel like watching and everything, and like the, the appropriate slot that I'm filling um or i'll pick them by random um or you know if i end up getting enough patrons uh, patrons maybe i will do a poll for it instead um but yeah so go ahead and check out all that stuff guys and if you have any questions for me uh go ahead and ask in the comments just please don't post any spoilers i know i'm behind on this so i really hope i don't get spoiled um but yeah, if you want to talk about anything with me, like about this episode and any episodes before this, but please don't use any future knowledge, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments. I try to read all of them and uh, and reply to every single one if I, if I can. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.